What's up, ladies and germs? Welcome back to Final <laughs> Mega Man X2. There is a Final Fantasy X2. Anyways, on to Wheel Gator. Like I was saying in the last episode, though, um, once the X series got to the PlayStation, I just, I don't know, it didn't seem as entertaining to me. They were just so different. I really loved the first three games. They are really fun. <clears throat> Even though I didn't get to play much of X2 and X3 as a kid. Just like I said, because they were so hard to find. And like I was saying, um, or well, actually I said this in the previous recording, because this is actually the second take. The reason I'm doing a second take is because I didn't really... I wasn't really focusing on what I was saying when I first recorded this. Um, and I I failed really hard at so something that I'm going to show in a sec. Once we get to it. <clears throat> I'm not going to go into what I think about the X-Series as it hit the PlayStation and the PS2. Just because it can be kind of controversial. Okay, what? And I don't really want to get into that. Oh shit, whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah, these guys are so much different in this game too. You might remember them from the first X game. They have some new abilities, which, um, they really got into the abilities and these ride armors um, in the next game, actually. They're, they have a much more prominent role. I mean, it is a, technically an optional role, but it is more prominent, so. Anyways, I failed here a bunch of times. I'm just trying to get the heart take there, which, um, come on. There we go. Oh, fuck, really? I just did this last night. Oh my god. Okay, anyways, yeah, so I'm not even going to bother with that. That's the easy way to get it, too, is by... It's nice they start you right there, actually. I know I'm going to try one more time. I don't even give a shit. If I fail, then whatever. This is, like, like I said, I was about to say, to me, this is the easiest way to... There we go. That's the easy way to get it. The, actually, the other... Fuck, almost. <laughs> I tried to dash in midair, but you can't do that yet. Like I was saying, there are upgrades, and I may as well, may as well just gave away that one. Um, there's a certain upgrade you need to get that heart tank later on, which is much more easy to get it that way. Well, it's supposed to be, that's the way it's supposed to be done. To me, though, I find it more dangerous because the spikes, either way, you, you risk running into the spikes there. If the screen seems like it's shaking, yeah, don't worry about that. That's just the stage, because we are on a, a moving tank right now. Okay, you need to piss right off. I'm fucking sick of Hammer Joes in every Mega Man game. <coughs> or Hammer, whatever those guys are. Yeah, or Missile Joes, or Boomerang Joes, or whatever you want to call their variations. And you might be wondering why I'm not taking any hits there, because you have to just shoot those birds and they keep flying, but they won't hurt you after they've been destroyed, even if they are flying. Shit. Oh, okay, yeah, see that's another one of those secret rooms. Um, they're all hidden paths to get to those optional boss rooms, which, like I said, I'm not going to be doing those just because, not because it's hard or anything, it actually makes the game easier. I'm going to be not doing them because um, it does make the game harder and it, you get a uh, another option to boss if you don't do that. Shit, I took a lot of damage from that thing. That's not good and I only have one sub tank and it's probably like not even a quarter way full. Oh, it's full. <laughs> so as you may have guessed, I went to this guy next because he is weak to the strike chain which we got from uh, Wire Sponge. I almost called him Wire Gator. Although Wire Sponge's picture does look like, like an kind of like an alligator. This guy's actually not that bad. Like I was saying, or I don't know if I said it in this recording or the, or the failed recording that I did. Um, <clears throat> the, all the bo most of the bosses are actually pretty easy to fight with the... Um, wow, he never stays out of the water that long. He's doing it just to piss me off, though. Yeah, use the weakness, man. Don't even bother. Like I was saying, he is... They're not that hard to use or beat with the Mega Buster. This guy's just tedious because he takes forever. He's always under the blood there. Whatever that is. <clears throat> Probably oil or something. Shit, shit. Again, I'm not really going to get into the patterns because this is kind of hard to describe. I mean, it's easy to describe if you're showing it, but... You know, if you can you can see what I'm doing. and it's, I'm just doing it the easiest way that I know how, so... If you can, like, lo if you can hit him... Like, just the right time, you can hit him multiple times while he's out. Most of the time, you can only hit him once, though. One thing to note is when the oil stops moving like that, that's when he's going to pop out. And he's always going to pop out wherever um, wherever you are. And he'll he'll show up, like, anywhere. Like, if you jump right over here, he'll be falling right on your ass. <clears throat> kind of scary. Oh, shit, yeah. And how to get out of that? Good thing. I guess it's kind of good that I shot it. Just move back and forth, left and right, or he's going to hold on to you and do a lot of damage, so... Keep that in mind. Oh, really? I only need one more hit. I guess I guess the the order that I'm doing them in right now is just kind of the 
the intended path, but honestly, I sometimes I'll start with this. I used to start with this guy first. I'd do Wheel Gator first, or even do Overdrive Ostrich first. A lot of people have trouble with him, but his pattern's really not that hard to um, avoid. Like, it's pretty easy to do without even taking a single hit. I mean, all of these guys are really, except for maybe, like, Crystal Snail. He really sucks, just because he slows down the screen. And it's just a bitch if you don't have the, um... His weakness st prevents him from slowing down the screen, so that's what you'd want the weakness for. Like, it's really just not even... It's really... I really wouldn't recommend doing it without... It's not like I'm, you know, teaching you how to play or whatever, but I really wouldn't recommend doing it without the weakness. Oh, here's another cutscene. See what now why Sigma fell at the hands of Mega Man X. He's quite formidable. I'm not sure our Mavericks can hold on hold him longer What? <laughs> hold him? I'm not sure our Mavericks can hold him dearly. Oh it's Dr. Kane, the first time we met Dr. Kane. In the last game he was referenced in the story. Dr. Kane, what happened? A group of Mavericks calling themselves the X Hunters have just contacted us. Greetings, we have all zero's parts. They can be yours if you can defeat us. I look forward to meeting you, X. X, Zero's control ch chip is stored here. I doubt it is possible to resurrect him without it. Dr. Kane, I've got to get Zero's parts back. At any cost. So that's what those bosses are. Um, you'll see in a sec that they're going to show up at a random stage. So, Agile Surges and a Violin, they're all in those stages that they just landed on. You can see the Maverick symbol on each one of them. They will move around as you defeat bosses. If you defeat too many bosses, they have nowhere to move around and you will miss out on fighting them. But I, like I said, I'm not going to fight them because you do get a, a harder optional boss later on, which I'm planning on fighting because it's cool. But it is technically the bad ending. The, the ending is the same, but it's just a very minor difference. Who are we going to next? So, Wheel Gator, you're good against Bubble Crab. Oh god, Bubble Crab stage is probably one of my favorites. Just for the music and the atmosphere. And you might be thinking, like, well, the atmosphere of Bubble Crab's stage is just underwater, right? But no. This... Hang on, wait for it. Okay, this scene right here. I love this freaking area right here. Oh my god, it's the coolest thing in the world to me. And the music is just perfect. I want to draw this too. I've been thinking about drawing the scene right here. I totally am going to move sometime. So now that they got the wheel gator move, what that does, besides, you know, doing damage, you can break through certain blocks like this. So you can always get this one up there. <clears throat> and the one thing I wish we had was overdrive ostriches. Um weapon and the upgraded buster because this guy is fucking annoying if you don't have that basically you can't get in front of him because he's gonna see you and he's gonna eat your ass but th with the uh, overdrive ostriches weapon you can easily destroy him in like one hit otherwise you just have to do this wait for him to go by actually you know what what am i doing this is a waste of time i need to get in front of him anyways fucking sea bass because there's something up here we need uh well that Look at that. That's not what I wanted to. And hopefully I can get this on like the first try. It can be kind of annoying to- there we go, nice. Pretty pretty sneaky, huh? And there's a heart tank up there. Heart container, heart piece. And there's another little secret um, for sub tank grinding over here, which I can't show you until I get the actual item we, have, we need for it. Which won't be for a while, so. I'm not even going to come back here until I get it, so... Actually, that's not true. <coughs> Actually, yes it is. <laughs> and there is a sub-tank in this level too. It's actually right here, but you can't get it. Because you need another upgrade, which... I'm just going to explain upgrades as they come, because what's the point of talking about them now? But what I was saying, I know I said I'm not really going to talk about the the later games in the X-Series. I just don't really like how they change so much. Like, you look at the original Mega Man series, and that game has stayed the same, you know, forever. And I know they want to change things to, like, be different and all that, so it's not just the same game. But honestly, that's what, like, the original Mega Man series is known for. It's, it's the same thing, but it works, so... And that's hard to do. Like, it's hard to find games that, you know, don't really change, but they do work so well. Because you look at like Mega Man 10 or 9 and 10, they went back to the old style just because everyone loved them so much. <clears throat> Sorry if my throat sounds all weird, as usual. I mean, it's always like that, especially when I'm recording though. Here's Bubble Ass. And <laughs> Sparkles. And as you may have guessed, he's weak to the Wheel Gator. Yeah, the, the, the spin wheel or whatever it's called. <clears throat> It'll pop the bubble that he brings out to protect himself. 
And you can hit him a f quite a few times with just one shot too, if you can time it right. Like the other, I think last night I was playing, I hit him like like three or four times with one shot. But unfortunately, you can only shoot one at a time. So <clears throat> if you miss, well, you gotta wait. Also, the color the color pattern schemes like for your armor when you um use new we different weapons in this game is kind of weird. I don't know. Like this one reminds me of one of the one of the weapons from Mega Man Seven. Be shooting your bubbles at me. <laughs> I just love the faces some of the robot master or mavericks make when you kill them. It's like it always reminds me of Spark Mandrels. You know when you get looks like you got punched right in the face or something. Oh man, I don't want to end the episode now. I have to go to work though. I did have to work earlier. I was supposed to be working at twelve, but they called and they're like, "Hey, um, can you come in at two instead? Someone else needs you need to cover half of someone's shift." So I was like, "Okay." So just work two hours later, work two and stay two hours later. It's not that bad. You got. Bubble Splash. It's so threatening, isn't it? Yeah, you literally shoot colorful bubbles. That's all it is. But hey, it works, so. Um, yeah, next time on Mega Man X 2. Oh, I should talk about what I'm doing with Final Fantasy 9, because I haven't uploaded that in a while. I'll talk about that next time. <laughs> we'll be going to Flame Stag on the Volcanic Zone stage. <clears throat> Whenever I hear the word zone, like for a level, it just reminds me of Sonic. But, anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys next time for Mega Man X 2.